I am originally from Toledo, Ohio. My family is from Detroit. Um, and then we all kind of migrated down here when I went to uh, Columbus College of Art and Design. I remember being younger and like not really seeing myself in places. Like when I was younger, I couldn't find paper dolls that look were that were brown, you know? <laughs> like I couldn't, so I made my own. And I did that as like a six-year-old little girl. I made my own paper dolls and it, it grew to like a collection of like a thousand paper dolls because that's how dedicated I was or passionate about seeing things that look like me in the world, you know. So with my work, I I want to show like people of color, black people doing regular things, you know what I mean, existing in their regular life and being happy or being sad or being playful or being in love, like that's all very important to me to just illustrate those, those moments because you don't see them as much as you should, you know. But I always knew I wanted to make art. I just didn't know how I could turn that into something profitable. I think it was in 2012 is kind of when I figured out that I can actually sell my artwork on products and that's when Ariel Brands came about. I basically took my artwork and started putting on everything that I could think of, like literally printing it on everything <laughs> I can think of. And so I just began to um, sell my work through uh, my web store and everything kind of like just turned around. <laughs> because I think that's one of the pieces that was missing from my childhood is seeing art like the stuff that I make, um, I didn't see it, you know? So it's like being able to have access to it would be great, you know? I, I hope that all of my pieces are, they potentially can be a conversation piece, you know? Um, I hope so, like that's one of my, my goals. But I think like the whole social commentary of some of my pieces is really interesting because People who are used to seeing me like do playful stuff, and it's always really more difficult for me to do stuff that has like pain in it, you know what I mean, or a struggle. But I think showing both is important. Showing both sides of the black experience is important. I have, you know, friends who are, who are not black who love my stuff too, and who wear it, and proudly, and like, they still want to represent. Even though it's an experience that they don't feel directly, they still see the experience and appreciate it or, you know, share it for what it is, you know, and I think that's important too because we all need to have that conversation together. It doesn't need to be just one group of people. Back before, you know, when I was younger, when I was a kid, like that, we didn't, I didn't have access to seeing like a black artist, a black woman artist creating artwork and making money off of it and actually having her own studio and stuff like that. Like I didn't know they existed. <laughs> And so being able to fill that gap feels great for me because I know like the next generation, they'll have more examples that I didn't have when I was younger. <laughs>